Greetings, it's naturopath Eric Becker, author of Candida Crusher. Thanks for checking out this video. How do I get Candida is the question today. How do I develop a yeast infection? So getting Candida um, you know, or developing a yeast infection, these are questions that people sometimes say to me, you know, how does it come about? Well, Candida albicans is a normally occurring yeast. It's an organism that many people have in their digestive system and it's estimated that up to 20% of women have it in their vaginal uh, area. Not all women have it. Now, many women uh, don't have candida, so it's false to assume that every person has candida uh, as a species, you know, that, that normally cohabits with the beneficials and not so beneficial you know, bacteria. So what we're talking about, I assume, is how do I get a candida infection? Okay, well, you get a candida infection usually because you broke the rules. You did something wrong and you allowed this, this yeast basically to take over and thrive in your body. It's the same thing to me like saying, how did I get a bacterial infection? Okay, You got a bacterial infection because bugs came into your system and they're all around us. We can't avoid bugs. But what happened is our susceptibility increased and our resistance dropped right down. We became more susceptible to an infection. So how we increase susceptibility is by basically doing things like staying up late at night, eating the wrong kind of food, stressing out too much, taking or relying on pharmaceutical drugs routinely like antibiotics, the oral contraceptive pill, uh, you know, taking various medications, could even be Tylenol or paracetamol, could be ibuprofen or Advil, I think they call it in America, Advil. So taking drugs on a regular basis will weaken and, and attack the immune system uh, through weakening and destroying digestive function. So any kind of drug, whether it's recreational or pharmaceutical, is not a good idea for you to be on, uh, you know, particularly in a recurring way. Some of the most common causes of, of uh, candida infection are alcohol consumption, regular consumption of alcohol. Regular consumption of alcohol and antibiotics, to me, are two of the leading causes of a candida yeast infection. But there are, are as many causes of candida as there are cases of candida that I see. There are literally hundreds of causes. Many patients we see today have got multiple stresses. So the word digital detox has been bandied around quite a lot on the internet lately. So, I mean, I read the other day, for example, that a lot of people uh, who are on Facebook uh, check Facebook minimum 14 times per day. That's ridiculous. Many patients I see, uh, when we, I talk about cell phone use, they will check their cell phone hourly. They're always looking at their mobile devices, you know, iPads, cell phones. So these things are stresses in their own right. Many people stay up too late at night. It's estimated that now up to 30% of people in the Western developed nations have got some kind of sleeping problem. So it's literally 3 out of 10 people can't sleep properly or have disturbed sleep now. You know, these are the things that account for uh, candida infection. It's the lifestyles that aren't really... Uh, beneficial for us anymore. We're living in such a highly stressed and polluted environment. So you can read a lot more on yeastinfection.org regarding yeast infection. And I'd also um, like to remind you to please do my Candida survey if you go to candidacrusher.com. It's the world's best online survey by a long shot. It's cost us a lot of time and money to develop up this survey, and I believe it's one of the best around. So you'll be able to determine with accuracy whether you've got mild, moderate, or severe yeast infection. And then what steps to take, you know, to really counter this infection? Because candida can ruin your life. It can destroy your life. I spent a big part of my career helping people with candida infections. And I've certainly seen a lot of people, uh, you know, who've been out there 5, 10, 20, even 30, 40 years plus who've had destroyed lives through yeast infection. I couldn't care less if people believe that candida exists or not. I deal with it on a daily basis in my clinic. And I've certainly seen many people with this infection, return back to a normal life again as well. So I hope that answers your question uh, to a degree on uh, the, the candida infection. You know, what causes a candida infection? How do I get candida? Well, you don't get candida. You develop the infection through some kind of imbalance. Thanks for tuning in.